Hey guys, it's Crystal and I have here the brand new 27 inch iMac. This is the option for $22.99 right above the base. So it'll get you from the i5 to i7. This has an eight core processor and they go all the way up to 10 cores now, but I think this might be the best value for your money. And I'm really curious to see how it compares to my 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro. So here's the thing. This is my very first iMac unboxing ever. I have obviously used an iMac before, but I've never used it as my dedicated setup. So I know that there's nothing really new or different about this iMac on the outside, but I personally am really excited to try it out. So I don't even need a knife. I got this fancy pull tab. Wow, that was smooth. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is just, I know, I'm just very excited. I know there's nothing new here, but here she is. Wow, hmm. got our keyboard in here. There we go. This is so neat. Classic keyboard. Got the magic mouse that a lot of people don't like, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Paperwork. Ooh, a little cloth to clean the screen. Lightning cable to charge your mouse and keyboard. Lift this styrofoam here. Bam. Gonna lift this up. There she is. The fun part. Just like a little present. Oh my goodness. Let me just, wow. This is, yep. You see, like, it's just, this feels so weird for me because I'm so used to this life. And I have been using the Pro Display a lot this year, but Having just this alone with none of this, like a home setup. So I got it all set up. Display looks beautiful. Obviously 5K display looks amazing. This is the standard glass, but there's also a nano texture option that you can get for $500 more. I don't know, I, after seeing this, like I know this looks really good, but I'm very all about nano texture and just matte screens. So I feel like I might like that one more, but this looks beautiful and what we're used to. I would say those bezels though, hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is coming from somebody who like, I was pretty used to seeing my pro display that's way less bezeled. <laughs> so this, it feels a little outdated, but obviously still looks great. One of the things I'm really excited to check out here is that integrated webcam is actually 1080p now. And on top of that, there's also a T2 chip inside this machine now, which is the first time ever on a non-pro 5K iMac. So it's actually working with the sensor in tandem, doing some better processing, so you're gonna get a better image all around. And I can already see just by looking at FaceTime open, it looks so good. I wish I would have had this just a couple hours ago opened up because I just did a webcam call this morning. So I'm actually gonna call Gabby and surprise her to see if she notices anything different. She's gonna be like, why are you calling me? Pick up. Hi. Hi. Do you notice anything? Yeah, like, like stay still for a second. It really does look more clear. Like I could tell you're on a sharper device. Right now, yeah, like right now it just got sharper. Damn, uh, it's so it's so funny the opposite because I see like a like little pixels, but yeah. as long as you see me all nice and clear, I'm actually I'm FaceTiming you from the new 27 inch iMac. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mama. Hi. Do I look any different? You cut your hair. No. Oh my God. The the picture quality. Does it look more clear to you? Yes, it looks very bright, brighter. Sharper. More detail. More detail. Yeah, like it, it's like. I can it's, see like the whole deep background. The deep, deep. Oh, right now. Right now, it just got. I yeah. see you like you're out here. Like if you were almost here. Is that 3D? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, I'm just FaceTiming you from a new computer from the 27-inch iMac. Wow. You're being, you're being recorded right now. <laughs> so FaceTime works great, and on top of the better cameras, we also get better microphones in here as well. So right now, I'm recording a little clip straight from the iMac. What you're hearing is also coming through the iMac. So let's do a little test. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Let me know how that sounds in the comments below. Now, using the camera kind of makes me think of photo booth, which I haven't used in who knows how long. So let's do a little throwback just for fun because why not? Damn, I'm just not used to this type of clearness. Whoa, it looks, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I like the little birdies. Dizzy. <laughs> Oh, wow. No, let's do this. <laughs> God. Wow, that is a great picture. That should be new profile pic right there. <laughs> well, got better webcams for that. So better camera, better microphone, and we also get better speakers in here. And while alone, those may not be reasons to upgrade, all together make a nice little package. And what's also cool, remember that T2 chip I was talking about that's actually working with the speakers here as well, doing processing, which gives us adaptive EQ, so let's check it out. Shout out to Musicbed, let's hear some tracks here. That's not that loud. This one, Tacky Wacky just is calling my name. Okay. <laughs> so they sound great. Obviously they're not gonna replace external speakers, but for built-in speakers, they sound pretty solid. And I definitely feel that space or dimension, it just sounds really spread out and full hearing it. So like I said, I'm really excited to see how this compares to my 16-inch MacBook Pro in terms of performance. They both are A-core machines, they both have 8 gigs of video memory, and what's really interesting is if you spec these similarly, the iMac is still $200 cheaper and you get this big 5K display. And yes, the MacBook is more portable. It is laptop versus desktop parts, but again, with the way the world is right now, if you're just staying at home a lot, this might be the better value. So I'm definitely gonna go more in depth over the next week or so, edit a couple videos, but for now, I wanna do a quick performance test, so let's run Geekbench. So we're done. They're actually pretty close, but one thing right off the bat, do you hear that? That MacBook is cooking up right now. So that's one advantage right off the bat with the iMac. And in terms of single core, they're pretty close, but in multi-core, the iMac is pushing ahead. Gotta tip my hat off to the MacBook though, cause it is hanging pretty close. So CPU performance is actually pretty close. Let's go ahead and see how those video cards stack up. And would you look at that? So while CPU performance was close in terms of graphics performance, this is definitely pushing ahead. 42,000 versus 27,000 on here. And we gotta remember when stacking these side by side, this is $200 cheaper. So if we're looking for an all around great at home setup, this is looking really good. And I know we're expecting Apple-based iMacs eventually. That's probably not gonna happen this year. So if you're looking for something right now, this checks all the boxes. But like I said, I will be going more in depth with this. So stay tuned for that full review. And if you guys want anything specifically covered, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.